Pardon the person playing League of Legends in the back. I'm too lazy to end the call. So Rich is going to be playing League of Legends in the background and randomly being Rich. So, yeah. But anyways, hey guys, it's Wild. Yeah, anyways, hey guys, it's Wild. We got a UU match here today against Antar1011. That one guy that I promoted the shit out of that one time that you should still go sub to because he's awesome. But anyways, yeah, UU match because he was all like, oh, UU match, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, um, I'm using that one team I used against MBZ the other day. And, you know, it's it's a pretty cool team with all that stuff and whatever. And he's, you know, he's got a pretty standard thing, except for, like, the only things that are really out of place is, like, uh, Tangrowth, Galvantula, and Golurk. But, I mean, they work. They just seem slightly out of place. But, uh, you know, they'll work out for him. But uh, potential threats from his team, the only things I'm really looking at is Mew. I got to figure out its set before I can let it do anything, because then it'll just be a little bit annoying. And then Arcanine's always just been a thorn in my side it's like what the fuck how is it actually being decent because i only have one fire resist and then hit on top is kind of like my name is hit on top and then uh otherwise everything else i should be able to take on well enough so it shouldn't be a huge issue to deal with most of his team so i just gotta watch out for that arcanine and then the mew and then the rest of it should be easy peasy lemon squeezy right rich totally okay because i'm not going six and oh with a support champion i have no idea what that means but anyways um potential leads from his end i'm looking at like <clears throat> Arcanine, Empoleon, or his Mew. More or less Arcanine or Mew. So I'm thinking Victini should be the best lead possible to take on Arcanine or Mew. So I'm going to do that. He does lead off with Arcanine. And, uh, you know, it's it's an Arcanine. So, uh, just got Victini in here. Just going to go for the Psychic. Just to try to hit this thing as well as possible. He goes for Extreme Speed right off the bat. Does a bit less than half. But then Life Orb will bring me over to that point where he can kill me. So I don't want to take another hit. And looking at it, he might be banding because he doesn't have any life of recoil, doesn't have any leftovers. So I'm going to go to hit him on top so I can get the Intimidate and then maybe I can Toxic something. But he's going to double ah, switch. What the hell? Sorry. It's okay. He's going to double switch out to Mew, I guess, either predicting another Psychic or predicting me to go to hit him on top. But I go to Raikou now because I am Specs. So I can at least Volt Switch out if he plans to switch out to something to try and take the uh, Volt Switch or just like the Shadow Wall or something. But. He decided to stay in and after he went for rocks. I'm like, oh, fuck, I got a crit. No, why did I get a crit? That's not very nice. But then I was like, wait a second. I was thinking about going to Roserade, but then I realized he might have Psychic. So I went out to Bronzong so I can get my own rocks up. And he does actually have the Psychic. So I'm like, oh, that works. But here, I probably should have went for Earthquake because it was kind of obvious that Arcanine would come in before the rocks. But I was like, fuck it, let's just get rocks up. And I got rocks up. But then Arcanine comes in. I'm like, shit, what do I do? Um, 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 him on top. Sure, he might be banded, but Intimidate should help me out enough so I can take a hit and then kill him or something or another. So he goes for Flare Blitz, and looking at this damage that it does, holy fuck, it looks banded. And then he burns me, and it's like, no! Oh, no! Oh. Now I have no reason to live, so I probably should have just gone for Sucker Punch here, but for some reason I didn't. I don't know why I didn't, but I decided let's just derp and die. Or I want to try and rapid spin, but then he crits me, so I have no chance of living at all, and I really should have sucker punched there. But since he is probably locked into the Flare Blitz, which uh, me going to Victini and going for Psychic and not getting hit by Extreme Speed does prove he's banded, so at least I can take him out, but I could have at least killed him with Hit on top, but oh well. Uh, now he's going to go into the Galvantula, and he has Sucker Punch, and I'm like, what? Who does that? What the fuck? I mean, I was even in Bikini as Death Water, but I just did not see the Sucker Punch coming. But now, he's going into Bron- I, I go into Bronzong, and I just go for Earthquake. Misses the Thunder, which is pretty unfortunate, because he probably went about 2-3 uh, hit KO, and it would have really helped him out in the long run to get that damage in. But now, uh, yeah, Thunder would have been about a 2 hit KO. Maybe, probably a 3 hit KO, but I get him with two Earthquakes and take him out. He gets a pair of hacks there, which, I mean, that'll probably end up helping me more than- won't help me later because of the fact that I'm paralyzed, which will power up Gyro Ball. But he brings in an Empoleon, which has the balloon, and I'm like, shit, no. No, I don't want that. So I got to Raikou to, uh, you know, uh, Volt Switch or Thunderbolt or just do something. But he goes for Scald, and it's actually going to do way too much. So I'm like, shit, I just got a Thunderbolt. Got to try and take this thing out. But then I completely forgot about the Golurk. And I'm like, oh, fuck. Well, there's a Golurk right here. And it just took my Thunderbolt. So now I gotta make a choice what I bring in. I'm thinking that Roserade should be the best possible option because with Bronzong's sat status and he could get a free Focus Punch off there, uh, Roserade can at least resist a Focus Punch and maybe take an Earthquake and then threaten it out with a Giga Drain. So, you know, I got that kind of leeway there. Plus, none of his guys really want to take a Giga Drain just because damage is damage and all that stuff. So, go with the Giga Drain on the sub. It'll easily break it. 
and Rich is doing some League of Legends stuff that I don't know of. Anyways, yeah, Earthquake, and then and it'll do not that much. Actually, it does a lot. Who am I kidding? But I live because Roserade kind of sucks, but I live because it's not sucky enough. But anyways, uh, yeah, I just try to go for another Giga Drain, but he goes out to the uh, Tangrowth, which doesn't really make sense to me. I guess he thought I would just have HP Fire and think, hey... A, a Tangrowth can take a <laughs> HP fire and then maybe put Rosary to sleep or I don't know what he was planning on doing But I have the sludge bomb on this thing so I can kind of just take him out with a sludge bomb and that will Obviously take him out. So that's pretty nice. Now Tangrowth's out of the way It does get a little bit more leeway to Raikou when I get rid of the Golurk or just uh, you know, do some other move But now he's gonna go into Mew. I figure he's gonna want to go for the roost or something But just to be safe, I'm gonna go to Bronzong because I'm gonna assume that Psychic is probably his only attacking move, so I just want to be safe and not die with Roserade, because Roserade could still be useful, mainly just because I can break subs with Golurk, or break Golurk subs, whatever. But now, I'm going to go for the Gyro Ball, just because it's Mew, should be able to do more than Earthquake, and he brings in the Apollyon, I'm like, alright, no Parahex, woo! And I... Six is feeding them. And I break the Balloon, so I can just start going for Earthquakes, and he goes for Agility, I'm like, wait... What? Why is he agility on my Bronzong? I guess he thinks that I'll get a ton of para hacks and then he'll just take me out and then he'll just sweep the rest of my team, which, to be honest, he might have been able to, depending on... Well, he probably does have max special attack, and if he has Ice Beam, then yeah, that could be possible, but I don't know. The point is, I take him out, though, so it doesn't really matter, and I live the Scald and don't get para hacks and I'm all awesome-like, so fuck you. So yeah. Now, he's gonna go into Golurk, and Golurk, um... Chemtrance. Yes! that apparently but no Golurk yes. is all like substitute and I'm like hey HP Ice fuck you and no Parahax is happening I'm like wow Bronzong you are kind of being awesome why is this happening you're not supposed to do that so yeah but now he's gonna go for Shadow Punch I should be able to take it because it is Golurk and I am a Bronzong and I live with 24 and fire off an HP Ice so that Golurk is kind of not gonna like that at all but it still takes it but it's just not gonna like it but here, again, he's going to hope for more power hacks and go for sub, but then again, it wouldn't have really helped him as much as it could have, because I could have found a way around it, so it wasn't a huge issue, but I do not get power hacks again, and he, I break his sub, so now he's just going to go for another Shadow Punch, which will, la la la, take me out, and then uh, I can go into my Pokemon of choice, uh, keyword choice, but uh, yeah, he takes me out with Shadow Punch, and now I get to bring in the man of the hour, the one, the only, the Crobat. So, bring Crobat, just gonna Brave Bird him, because, you know, Fizzy Stardust, Brave Bird everything. And then, all he's got left is Mew, and it's at a sizable chunk of health, so I'm like, so I go message Fizz, and I'm like, Fizz, give me the power to kill Antar's Mew. And he's like, okay, here you go. And I'm like, alright, Crobat, go get him! Go get him, Choice Panda Crobat! And I take him out, which will make that be the match. So, GG. Oh, no, 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 Trista, I am shit, I'm sorry, Trista, oh my god, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, oh my god. GG Antar, um, you know, that, that was a fun match, a little bit too, too much hacks, but you know, it, it, it was still fun, so, um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, um, I really have nothing else to say right now, except apparently Rich might be failing in League of Legends or something, I don't know. Uh, no, no, we're dominating, it's, just a, it's all like, what's up, I'm gonna gank you. Okay then, well, apparently that's happening in... Rich's game of League of Legends. So get out, get out, get out. Run, 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 run. Alright then. Well, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Etc. Such and such bleh. Recommend sub and later guys. I'm still running, I'm still running. Okay then.